Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The harness of army conflicts between jurisprudence and international law and the role of volunteer work and the technology in reducing them and addressing their risks. Uh, this is Dr. Muhammad Shafi Muftah and Dr. Saad Jum'a Jum'a Zaghloul, Dr. Ahmad Ramadan Muhammad Ahmad, all in Sharia and law faculty, International Islamic University Sultan Abdul Halim Muazzam Shah, Uni Shams, Malaysia. Display and presentation, Dr. Muhammad Shafi Muftah Bushia, Prof and Head of Jurisprudence Department, Sharia and Law Faculty, Uni Shams, Malaysia. The struggle and armed conflicts such as wars, revolutions, and the like that sweep some parts of the world represent great problems for all segments of society, as they leave bad effects in various aspects. Due to the exception of many of the residents of these areas to killing and displacement the demolition of homes and the spread of diseases as vulnerable women are exposed. Children are subjected to torture, persecution and physical and moral abuse. The facilities themselves of all kinds are subject to demolition, burning and damage. The takers of Sharia have forbidden and criminalized these attacks. Contemporary international law takers and major political agreement criminalize these practices and classify them as war crimes and other major crimes. Where popular volunteer war, collective and individual, respects major pillars in their protection, the providing them with specters of aid, which is what this is research seeks to present and root as it sheds light on the most prominent of these damages. The position of Islamic Sharia and international law towards it. The role of business and volunteerism in it. How can contemporary technologies and technology reduce and denounce them and providing assistance to these affected? Number one, types of the harms inflicted on peoples according to armed conflicts and their effects. The harm to which different peoples are exposed to the regions of unrest, military and political conflicts, and others vary, these damages take serious forms as they affect all that the laws commanded to preserve from the comprehensive fight, religion, soul, honor, mind, and wealth, as in the following examples. A, religious damage, the most important of which are the following. Getting right of Muslims by burning, killing, displacing and forcing infidelity, as is happening to Muslims in Burma and Central Africa. Two, burning or discreating the Muslim mosques as happening and is happening from 
violations of Al-Aqsa Mosque by some Jewish journals. And as happened with the conversion, conversion of some Muslim mosques in Central Africa into bars, burning and tearing and insulting the Holy Quran by various means, which is considered a disregard for the Islamic religion. B, physical damage. The most of important of which are the following, killing and displacement, amputation and demolition, and the physical torture in random detention centers, those who bomb it with heavy weapons or explosions of spray toxic gases and the like on residential compounds. Two, Violations of symptoms such as forced adultery, adultery, or the systematic individual, Bosnia and Syria are two examples. Financial and economic damages such as depreciation of wealth, the destruction of the economy the closure of factories and the companies, the spread of unemployment and the destruction of cultivaries and of spring. D, scientific and heritage damage. It has been to libraries, museums, scientific research centers, manuscript centers, and archaeological buildings whether through demolition or bombing, where aggressors and thieves load or load or destroy the holding of archaeological museums or get rid of its guardianship, making it hotbed for timbers and thieves, as well as these damages have been to publishing houses, public and private libraries. This negatively affects the scientific practice of those countries for many years and perhaps for centuries. Number two, the position of Islamic Sharia on the harm that people are exposed to. If we look at the last harms, we will find that they violate all divine laws whose teachings stipulated the preservation of the comprehensive five religion, soul, honor, mind, and wealth. And do what the various disturbances and the conflicts do are clear violations of all of these vacuities. And the text of Islamic Sharia prohibit and decriminalize these damages and explain that as false. One, the prohibition of unlawful killing of oneself. Two, inviolability of honor. Three, prohibition of destroying wealth, flow and offspring. Four, prohibition of demolishing, destroying, distributing places of prayer. Number three, the position of international law and the harm that people suffer. International organizations and bodies have issued many conventions, treaties, and protocols that prevent the crimes against people and condemn them and condemn them. It is stipulations, it is penalties. 
Among the most important of these agreements are following. A, agreement to improve the condition of the wounded and sick in armies in the field, 1929 AD. Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in Event of the Armed Conflict, 1954, and it is Protocol 1954. The International Convention Against the Requirement, Recruitment, Use Financing and Training of Missionaries, 1988. 89. The Convention of the Rights of the Child in 1993. Volunteer work towards affected peoples, it is role, sign fences, and types. A. Definition and ruling of volunteer work. Social work is defined as providing a helping hand an individual or group of individuals who need it fee it free of a charge whether financial or moral and it is proposed is to place god almighty b forms of volunteer work number one collecting donations and sending financial and in kind supplies and aid, aid to the affected people, such as basic supplies, food, medicine, clothing, canvas, ATC. Two, sending medical canvas accompanied by medical supplies to treat and wounded and endure it as a result of the this Distrapenses. Number three, close outposts and the block roads for any aid that can be used to strengthen the aggressors against minorities, whether from inside or outside. The possibility of dispersing, dispersing aid to conflict affected parties from Zakat and Endowment Fundes, al waqf Four, the role of contemporary technology in limiting the damages of armed conflicts and helping those affected by them. This means can play a positive role in conflict reduction and definition with it, and help the affected groups and explain that as follows. Using electronic means of communications in the speed of transferring information between conflict affected areas and between areas that provide them with material and moral assistance. Two, using social media such as Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram, and others in communicating between the affected families and their families to check on their news. Three, using the international information network, the internet, to spread the facts and refute the lies about what happens in the areas of armed conflict so that the trust of the international community. Four, the speedy establishment of voluntary entities and aid them and aid teams in different regions of the world that can communicate with each other to provide humanitarian aid. 
in it is various forms to the affected and stricken areas. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.